where I am going to be sitting down and reviewing some of your Etsy shops. Hello guys and welcome to a slightly different video today. So I asked my beautiful patrons to send in their Etsy shop to do a review video of Etsy. So I have been getting quite a lot of emails of different people asking to review their Etsy shop and give them tips and advice. So what I thought I would do is do this Etsy crit kind of live in front of you guys and review different Etsy shops and hopefully give you guys some tips and tricks along the way so you can apply it to your Etsy shop shops if you're an Etsy shop seller or maybe you're thinking of opening an Etsy shop. I'm not going to be doing an extreme deep dive into it, it's more just things that stand out to me and give my review and opinions on the different Etsy shops. Now I know my Etsy shop isn't perfect, there's some announcements that haven't been updated and all that sort of stuff, but I have managed somehow to get around 64,000 sales on my Etsy shop. So I hope my advice is a bit helpful but my Etsy shop is by no means perfect and I definitely could improve on it but I thought since I was getting a lot of the same emails and questions of you guys I thought this video might be a good opportunity to sit down with you review some shops give some tips and tricks and maybe you can apply that to your shop so let's get into it. Yeah, there's like a ball of wax on my desk. What the heck where's that come from? First shop we have opened, I just opened one at random, is Honey D Creative. And it looks like these are a sticker and stationery shop. So right off the bat, you know what it is. It says sticker and stationery shop. You know what the brand is about. You know that it is a stationery and sticker line. Now, Danielle has opted not to do a banner at the top, which means your initial eyes are first drawn to this logo right here and then next up you are drawn to the featured products. Now if I was you I would definitely take advantage of the featured products and add another one, maybe four, make it a bit more even so it looks more fluid when you're looking at the shop. Um, I know Etsy now have different ranks like Etsy Plus where you get different options to feature. This might be a um, standard Etsy shop without the Etsy Plus uh, so maybe change the feature and I would definitely uh, recommend adding that top banner or carousel just because it can give your customers an idea of the products you sell but to be honest if you are just selling stickers like this the first thing they go to is your logo and then your shop and it kind of works in a way where it doesn't distract the audience away and get straight into your product so it could be a different tactic that you use but if you're wanting to highlight your products even bigger or do kind of like a valentine's collection or a valentine's sale you could then create a big banner on the top that says valentine's shop valentine's and show some of your Valentine products. Initially looking at your shop, uh, the announcement is just welcome to Honey D Creative Shop which is absolutely fine. You could perhaps put discount codes here, you could put shop announcements but there is from what I've seen no shop announcements here and then as we can see there's 14 in total items. Now this is one thing that I'll probably say consistently <laughs> on these Etsy shop critic uh, review videos which is the more listings you have have the better it is to get found in search. If you ever look at Etsy shops like the top Etsy sellers like at E-Rank you will consistently find that a lot of those shops have a lot of items in their shop and the reason being is Etsy is essentially like a search engine and also a lot of Etsy products go through to Google shopping as well so the more Etsy products you have and the variety of different SEO in your titles and descriptions and products to offer the more likely it is that you will get found. Um, so I would would work on building up your product range if you're a sticker or stationery shop but this is a great way to start and please don't think that you have to have like a thousand items just to start out we've had free sales so far which is absolutely great there the first sale is always the hardest it took me a very long time to get my first organic sale on Etsy and I had very little listings when I first started out because I started out with custom portraits so now we've moved on from the amount of products 
products. You have got them nicely laid out here, so die cut sticker packs, so you click on there, it leads you to the die cut sticker packs. We've got digital stickers, and so it's easy to navigate around your Etsy shop. Uh, the one thing I would say is by looking at your photographs, they do seem to be on a fluorescent light. So what I mean by that is it seems to be taken, the photograph seems to be taken on like a desk with a lamp with a warm fluorescent light on. This can actually work sometimes if you're trying to get a cosy vibe and feel uh, for an image but for your main product photos you really want it to be very very bright and you want your stickers to be easily readable and this fluorescent light can sometimes change the colours of your stickers and doesn't look as professional and crisp. So one thing I would probably say with this star is it is very good because we can still see the stickers quite clearly in these thumbnails here uh, but I would work on the light in here. Try and get some natural light on those stickers, maybe moving the scene with windows that have natural light. Try not to shoot direct in sunlight for main photos, for main product photography but a cloudy day normally does really really well. Try to brighten up those product images a little bit but the layout of the images work really really well. I love how you've laid out the stickers. I think you can just keep them exactly the same, but just work on that lighting a little bit more. So next up, picked at random, is Hello Elisa Milan. And she's from Arizona. She's got five star reviews, 27 sales, absolutely epic. And first of all, I'm not quite sure what this shop is about off the bat, so I have to do a little bit more digging here to find out what this shop is about. So I'm looking at the top features and I think a lot of people who initially come on this Etsy store must have been actually searching for emojis. So I'm assuming this shop is digital emojis that you can download for Twitch. So it's quite niche and quite specific and something that is quite unique as well. So we also have sub badges as well so I guess it's a Twitch store but I had to do a little bit of kind of brain work to do <laughs> to find out what this star was about initially looking at it but yeah it seems to be a twitch um emoji like digital download style star so the one thing I would say initially is if I was a customer coming onto this star and I landed on this star I like to know what this star is all about right from the get-go so I do love the brand colours here, the, the pink um, top cover bar here and then your logo ties in really really well. Also this really cute emoji here kind of adds to the branding, you kind of know what the brand's about, it's got that kawaii element to it. But what I would say is I would actually add some sort of details about what your store is, whether that's just texts in a place to find adorable twitch emojis for example people know instantly this is a star for digital downloads for twitch emojis when i looked at this the first thing i thought is these are really really cute but not everyone will know what these are for and it actually took me some time to work out but then i read the description but most people will not do that much digging they will click on your star not know what it's about and click off you want to make it as easy and efficient as possible for your audience to understand what your star is about right from that get-go and you don't want to make your audience be doing some digging or someone who's managed to land on your page you want to convert them into a customer and into a sale so maybe some sort of detail about what your brand is and about what you have to offer either here in the cover or even your announcement but here I would really utilize this space so phone backgrounds this is a great idea digital download so you're not just doing twitch things so digital download store would be great letting people know what it's about out and then you know what I'm gonna say work on building up some more products in your store and then it's easier to get found so I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit more see what we've got we have got no about section uh, we've got an Instagram Twitter shop website which is great and um, we've got the cancellations and returns here so all the details for that we have no about about you about your shop about what you do about your brand vision it will be great to add that just give a little bit of background history what you love doing what you you don't have to be personal you could be what your brand is about why you're doing what you're doing why you're selling what you're selling it could be I want to create a bunch of adorable cute emojis and digital downloads for people to enjoy 
next shop we've got purple daffodil design and right off the bat we can tell what the branding colours is all about. It's all about that purple, that seems to be the branding, it matches with the logo over here, uh, lovely font for the logo, the, it's nice and bold, very clearly red, uh, love the purple theming, right as the initial impressions you can tell the brand, they've used that accent as their branding colour. Also this big cover banner here is absolutely brilliant, free UK delivery on orders over 20 quid, applied automatically at checkout, this works great um, because people read this because it's so bold when they first come on the page and the natural progression would be to your logo and it's great here because we know right off the bat what this shop is about handmade greeting cards and gifts for all occasions and these have got Sarah's got a whopping 8,481 sales so we know Sarah knows what she's doing and all these makes a difference because as soon as you go on to this uh, page you know that it's handmade greeting cards and gift for all occasions because she's explained that you know that there's also free uk delivery so there's another incentive to stay and kind of snoop around the store for any goodies maybe you've got an occasion coming up so we also have a shop announcement here as you can imagine i'm incredibly reliant on the very busy royal mail so it's lovely that she's given a note about covid and being very friendly with her approach to it but also professional so you get a feel of sarah's character her business how she speaks as a business brand owner and you feel confident already before you've even checked out because she has put those notices into place it seems updated and she's giving you um, advice over shipping so already I'm feeling like I would be very safe to shop with this brand so we can see she's got some beautiful ornaments here her branding is really really pretty I love on her photos that these are all very very cohesive the greeting card here are nice and bright you can see the design very well I also like that she's used the same purple kind of knit in the background of all her images so it's very cohesive when you go through her store very easy on the eye as you're going down and you're seeing all these items some of the photography here looks a little dark so I would try and get to a natural light source a nice big window and take photos of these ones just to brighten them up a little bit uh, but we all know how hard it is to update product photos there's still some of mine that don't work at all so this is actually really really good and I don't don't really have any um, strong critiques on this front the only thing I would say is some of the images could do a brightening up a little bit maybe like this it works really well for your greeting cards where it's got a bit of the white here the dark purple might darken this image a little bit so perhaps switch to this to make this stand out so have the white and the purple kind of contrasting or maybe a, a lighter color here with your branding backing card being purple as well it is a little hard to see the design there is a lot going on and your design here is very small and very detailed so maybe zoom in on the ornament get some nice angles on that ornament maybe brighten up the purple so that this backing card contrasts contrasts against uh, the white rather than the deep, deep purple along the side here we can see she's got all her items split into different occasions which works really really well for her audience base and her customer base because she is primarily selling as a gift and greeting card company so it makes sense for her brand to have all the occasions split into sections so you can always come to a shop and shop maybe baby prints, maybe valentine's day, birthday, wedding and engagement and you can kind of go through her shop and find something perfect for you. It makes it very easy to navigate as the customer and makes you want to come back and think oh I've got a birthday coming up next week right I'll go to purple daffodil design because I loved my last order and I'll go to birthday and she already has it all laid out nice and neat for me. The next shop we've got is Renzo Sprinkle and the first thing we can see is this adorable cute almost washi tape style um, banner across the top so initially we know that this brand is all about those bold fun colours and it's very light hearted and almost whimsical and kawaii and she is a cute art and stationery made and sprinkled with love so an uh, art and stationery star so it really is very helpful to kind of give a little description about your store 
shot as people first come in because your top banner if it doesn't give it away you want people to know what your brand and style and what it is you're actually selling here we have got an announcement which say all orders will receive at least two freebies now if this was me and I was giving that incentive to the customer I would probably put it up here in the announcement so the first thing is two freebies free in every order um, so it kind of stands out whereas this announcement people might overlook this a little bit and it's more like two freebies free <laughs> like in the corner there in the little announcement so that is a huge bonus for people who are potentially going to be your customers so I would definitely make it a little bit more bolder make the cover photo a bit chunkier and add maybe that detail orders over 20 pound will receive additional freebies wow freebies all around so yeah I would shout this from a rooftop it is definitely a bonus for customers wanting to shop with you and I would put that up here as an incentive for people to shop and really be proud of that and say freebies all around and uh, shout it rather than be like there's some freebies here and if you spend some more there's some freebies here uh, that's the kind of vibe I get with that shop announcement so if it was me I'd probably add that into the top banner so initially right off the bat we've got a bunch of different images here they're not very cohesive the first initial thought is the images are all quite different um, for the eye it's not all quite similar and flaws as easy uh, but the actual style of the photography is good I think my first initial thoughts are uh, we need to work on those darkness uh, the dark images here so these are quite dark images if we could try and figure out the photography settings or even in post-production try and brighten up that image a little bit um, to reduce as much shadowing like here for example uh, this image is actually quite dark and it's one of the first images I've, I've come to this one of the washi tape is brilliant but we can see there's quite heavy shadows cast here um, and it's obviously shot possibly in sunlight here um, and it's still quite dark so I'm trying to eliminate those shadows these can work really really well like having heavy shadows in certain style of photography so it depends on your photography style but on this occasion I think it could do with uh, brightening up since your brand colours and your brand itself is very very bright we've got 79 items which is a great amount of items for an Etsy shop but with the background being so dark I don't think it allows your little popsicle bunny to pop as much uh, this one's also great this one's a lovely image and I actually think works really well for the product because it is a sun catcher and it looks really really pretty but I would definitely work on some of the darkness of these images this one here it looks beautiful and we'll click on that and click more into it but it is distorting the colours it's made it's took during maybe um, sunset and we've got a gorgeous glow from the sun but it is distorting the colours of the actual product and for the first initial product something like this which is actually nice and bright and crisp and shows the true details of the product would be better as the initial product photos and then you could use stuff like this as a secondary photo to kind of show more of an artsy shot but for the first initial product photos on the star that one would probably fare better than that that one because I can't actually see the colours too well on that image so that one cropped in would actually work much better for a product image and then I like the variations you have here showing in different lights and all that good stuff but this one is something the minimalist and drawing to the actual art print and showing actual representative colours would work a little bit better but other than that after photography I think your brand is really colourful and really really bright it's just about tweaking that photography to get there as well if we look at the actual SEO of this, the SEO seems pretty good. Discounted washi tapes, set of free gold foil, flower ducks. I'll probably add more tapes, um, tape details into the SEO. There is places like E-Rank or uh, Marmalade that I used to use. And I love that you also have a little bit about you as well. Um, and also sharing your workspace. Next shop we have made by Hakashi. And initial thoughts of this shop is it's beautiful I know straight away we've kind of got this beautiful ceramic dishes that I actually want the colors really stand out to me as a consumer because I like that type of thing um, and we can go right here we've got her as the logo and icon and Hakashi's illustration stickers ceramics and zines so right from the get-go you know what this shop is going to sell um, we also have an update about shipping which is great we've got 26 items but 920 sales so it just goes to show you don't need to have 100 
hundreds and hundreds on your shop. If you've got like a Instagram or something where you can kind of promote these beautiful products and get searched, wow, this is really, really beautiful. Um, so this photography to me looks super professional, super crisp and really ties in with the whole branding. We've got her branding colours here which tie in with her cover photo. So it really all blends in well. She's also used contrasting colours to go with her art print here which really complement her art style. We've got some beautiful ceramic dishes which really really showcase her work and makes me want to get it really bad. These are so adorable. What the heck I actually want to buy some of these. Uh, so these are absolutely stunning. I have no um, critiques on this at all to be honest. I think it shows your art style off really really well. Your eyes are initially drawn to the product rather than the background. They don't blend into the background. It works really really well against this colourful background especially the stickers and I think this works beautifully. And then if we look at the SEO here, hand painted porcelain trinket dish, handmade gift, heart shaped jewellery plate, seems pretty good the seo seems pretty much spot on there so i think this is a great and also a star seller so this is a stunning shop the only thing i would say is potentially add more items eventually if you're wanting to get found um on etsy so next up we have the dwarven treasure now this looks stunning this looks like a very 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 professional shop right from the get-go the photography here in the cover photo is just beautiful this this looks such well balanced. These photos look super professional, super rich and very luxurious. This looks like a very niche, luxurious shop. If I was clicking on this, I'd think, wow, this is quality. This is crafted. This is uh, proper cosplay um, with beautiful, with a beautiful quality finish. So this gives me very high quality vibes right from the get-go, just from that stunning photography and obviously the items on display in the photography. So down here, we've got a little <laughs> like kind of what are they called oh what are they called I'm, i feel like totem almost of a dwarf here and it says a dwarven treasure i love this slogan here the story tells that you can find some treasure here so it's almost an immersive world right from the get-go just from seeing the cover photo from this like totem here and then you can find some treasure here already this is like an exciting store to have a look around and you really really and i'm really really interested to see what they've got to offer most of our treasures are made to order so I love that she is describing her products as treasures it's something to treasure and be um, of high quality and be excited about so this is really really fun so this is an example of a store that doesn't have many items but is extremely specialist and very very niche and they have a few but uh, of those items they are expensive and because they are quality and that reflects in the whole brand presence it reflects in the photography it reflects in the items itself that is for sale it goes with and it matches those high-end prices that it is actually offering these are absolutely stunning i have nothing to say about this obviously you could get more products in but like i say this is handcrafted items and you don't always need just tons of products it's Easy for a stationery store but something as highly crafted as this it does take time to build up this would be great to be marketed off-site and also at conventions or also getting into kind of network marketing with conventions and people in this niche uh, to find your store and you would be known as a quality store to go to for dwarven and medieval style treasures so absolutely love them got great reviews here and we've got also, keeping in with the branding and that storytelling theme, even her about Dwarven treasure, she said that the Dwarven lady came to this town to share her treasure. Hello, traveller. Welcome to my dw Dwarven tavern. She's even relate. You're even on just on her Etsy shop. I feel like I'm in her tavern. She's keeping the storytelling alive. You're not simply a customer. You are in some sort of RPG world with her, and she wants to bring you along on that journey as well. So it's a very, very immersive shop, and so somewhere where if I was particularly interested in this, this would be the go-to place for me. So beautiful shop there. I have nothing really <laughs> to say about that other than that it is a beautiful shop and I'm sure Mike would love this because he loves stuff like this. So that's all I could manage to do for this Etsy critique. Hopefully uh, you guys found it helpful. I'll see you all very freaking soon. Alright then, thanks for watching.